Migrate dates, I will be looking at how to add and subtract like terms. So I will be looking at three examples. But here are just a few things to keep in mind when you are adding and subtracting like terms. So the very first thing is your terms need to look the same. So your variables in your terms need to look the same and then they will be like terms. The second thing you can look at or remember is to use a sign to the left of the term. So the sign to the left of the term is actually that term or variable's sign and that sign will tell you what to do with the variable, whether you need to add or subtract. And then the third thing to remember is that you can then use your number line. It's just with a variable now. And when you go to the right, you need to add. And when you go to the left, you need to subtract. Right, so the very first example, okay, it looks like this. 2x plus 4y minus x plus 3y. The first thing you need to realize is that here you actually have a 1 in front of the variable. So if there isn't a number, there's actually a 1. Then you want to start looking for your like terms. So what you need to realize is that this x is the same as this x. And this y is the same as that y. So these ones are like terms. So a nice thing to do is if you think about an x as something as simple as an apple. So let's think about an x as an apple. So there's an apple. So you have two apples. Then you have positive 4 of whatever y might be. Let's think of y as like a box. So say you have four boxes. And then again, you have negative 1 of the x's, which is again your apple. So you have negative 1 of the apples. So there's the little apple again. And then you have positive 3 of y. And y, we just said, is maybe something like a box. So literally, if you think about this, you have two apples. And then you are subtracting one apple. So if you have two apples and you're subtracting one apple, you have one apple left. So there's your apple again. And then when you look at the boxes, so you have four boxes and then you add three boxes. So the sign in front of it is telling you what to do. So if you have four boxes and you're adding three boxes, you obviously have seven boxes. But we didn't start with boxes. We actually started with the variable. So you're just going to resubstitute that. So you have 1x plus 7ys. And then that is your answer. So I mean, you're not going to be drawing pictures every single time. But this is what you need to see. So what you can do is you can say 2x minus 1x. That's how you get to the 1x. And then something else like you have four y's and you're adding three more y's and that's how you get to your seven y's. So you don't need to draw pictures. Maybe you can just underline them like I did or highlight them or just think of them as objects. We will again now look at like terms. So what you need to realize is x squares are different to x's. So they are not like terms. So again, we will be saying that you have seven x squares and you have a positive three x squares. And then we have negative 3x minus two more x's. So I'm not drawing pictures. I'm just grouping them in like terms. Notice how I've actually also highlighted the sign in front of the number and variable. So I know that it goes with it. So I know what is expected of me to do with it. So I have 7x squares and I need to add three more x squares. So I have 10x squares. Then here, I have negative three x's and I am subtracting two more of the x's. So if I'm at negative three on my number line, I'm subtracting two more. I have negative five of the x's. And then because they're not like terms, I can't add and subtract those ones. So that is then my answer. For example three, what you need to realize here is that something else is going on. You have something right outside the bracket. So if you have something right outside a bracket, it means that you need to distribute it with everything inside the bracket. So let's first do that. So we're going to keep this negative 2k and we're going to say a negative times a positive 3k is a negative 3k. And then a negative times a negative 4n is a positive 4n. Now, this is what I'm used to seeing as a question. So now I can move on to looking for light terms. So again, here, 
I have a negative 2k and I'm subtracting three more of the k's and then I have a positive 4n. So again the sign I've highlighted with it so I know what to do. So if I'm at negative 2k and I'm subtracting three more k's I have negative 5k's. And then I just have this one all alone, the positive 4n. So I'm just going to carry the positive 4n. I can't add or subtract it to anything else, but I also can't just get rid of it. So then that is my answer, negative 5k plus 4n. Now, we will be uploading a worksheet on our website and the resources for grade 8. You're more than welcome to go and practice a few more of these adding and subtracting sums.